guys, this is Claudia here from The Bookkeeping Experts. I'm super excited to have you here with me today. Today we're going to talk about a very popular subject. Um, it is about how to import transactions when your bank feed does not work. First of all, we're going to troubleshoot a little bit about the reasons why those transactions may not be coming through automatically into your bank feed. The first one is the security setting on your bank account. If that's the case, that's an easy fix. Just go into your bank account. You want to log in to the bank account and you want to go to the security settings and allow third party apps such as QuickBooks Online to export transaction into QuickBooks. Then you'll be able to log into QuickBooks and reconnect account and transactions will automatically flow into QuickBooks Online. There are some situations though that the banking just doesn't work and that could be because of the uh, outdated technology of the bank or it could be because of other technical issues. Uh, if that's the case, then you want to download all the transactions into a CSV file. Next, you want to go into that CSV file and clean up all the transactions or not or all the rows and all the columns that you do not need so you want just to keep the first uh, which which has all the description dates and so on and so forth and then you want one for the date of the transaction uh, you want one for the debits one for the credits and one for the description of each transaction now there are some banks that put both um, deductions or both credits and debits in one column. If that's the case, you want to make sure that those transactions are formatted correctly. For all negative numbers, you should see a negative numbers for the expense. And for the income transactions, no, uh, no, no sign in front. Now, if, it, if the format in your uh, file has parentheses, you want to reformat your cells so that those parentheses can be just a negative amount for those um, for those credit transactions. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, stop talking, Claudia. Let's go to work. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so QuickBooks Online, wanna make sure that you have the right interface so you can look at the exact thing, same thing that I'm looking at. On the top right hand side, click on the gear menu, top gear menu, and you can switch to accounting view. This is the accounting view, so it's asking me to switch to business view if I want. And you can switch back and forth if you want. But here we are. So now we are on the right interface. The left hand side, you see a menu and you want to click on banking and here we are. The next thing you want to do is click on the arrow right next to link account on the top right hand side and upload from file. I want to go ahead and select the right file. You can drag and drop there or you can select the file here. The interesting thing is that I had to record this video a couple of times because of those negative signs that were not negative, it was positive. So, so you have to format your, your Excel file or your file carefully because you don't want expense account to come as positive amount. If not, it's going to show as income. All right, then you don't want that. All right, so we are we're going to click on continue select the bank account that I want the transactions to go into, continue here, and here it's just asking you is the first row the header, in my case yes. For my situation we have one row for both uh, expenses and income and I want to select my date format. And then I'm going to confirm, usually I have my file open on the next window um, and this is the right format. So the first column is the posting date, set, uh, the third column is the description, and the fourth is the amount for both income and expense. 
I'm gonna continue here. Here's my transactions. I don't have any income, so it's just expense. And I see that is negative. You want to make sure if it is expense, you need this negative amount. If not, you're just importing all the transaction as income. And that's a no no. I continue here. It's going to warn you. Oh, we have seven transactions coming into QuickBooks. Yes, I want it. Okay. Take a minute. There it is. Yeah, it worked. Done. Here, here we have all the transactions imported into QuickBooks. You want to make sure you select all the transactions. If not, you're just going to have limited transactions. Um, I do have another video on how to categorize. You can go ahead and categorize those transactions uh, according to the video down below that I'm going to put the link. If you have any questions or if you need further assistance uh, for your business, we do offer one-on-one -on -one Zoom meetings. So you can send us an email. To schedule a time with us or you can send us an email or text whatever you want <laughs> and we can go ahead and set up a time so we can um, we can go over your specific uh, issue with your company I hope that this video was useful and remember the main reason you want to keep your books up to date is not just to file your taxes. It's to be able to be a proactive business. It means in face of the unknown, you'll be able to um, create um, or plan your business accordingly so you can stay always ahead of your game, always ahead of your competition. Now, if you don't know your finances or where you stand, it's impossible. So make sure that you stay up to date with your books. And if you have problems, contact us. We, you can hire us to assist you either to catch up with everything or just to uh, organize your books uh, so you can take it from there. We can teach you how to do it. Or if you want just to have us take care of your books so you can focus on your business, we can do that as well. Thank you so much for staying all this time with me today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're going to come back over and over again with the most updated issues or um, our subjects, content with, of QuickBooks Online. So stay tuned, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any question, write down a comment down below. Um, if you want a subject to be covered on the next video, write down below and we'll make sure we cover that. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your summertime with your family and until next time, keep on smiling.